with you. So, instead of being against us, stand with us. Yeah! 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 Hiya. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in Hyde Park. I've just had a little something to eat. Just been to the Veterans Rally. I met um, Dean. Oh God, I've forgotten all his names. I met Simon Bean. He thanked me for coming. Shook my hand. He saw the flag in my hand. He still shook my hand. He still thanked me for coming. And then that um, Cumber Batch. I met him. I don't think he knew who I was though. So he just shook my hands and off he went. Um, yeah, it would, you know, I absolutely agree with 100% what their veterans said today. How Parliament and all the ministers have sold them. Sold them up the river. But yeah, what I didn't understand, at the end of the rally, after dissing the ministers for the half an hour, they all stood solid and saluted when, they, when she sung the God Save the Queen. But ultimately, you know, that's where it's flawed, isn't it? these veterans they honestly do believe that the Queen is just a symbolic symbol and she has no direct influence on her day-to-day -day government well sorry veterans you are wrong so that's all very well moaning against the, their ministers slagging them off you acknowledge that the government isn't it's unfit for purpose you acknowledge that so it's all very well to do this but then to stand up and salute the Queen that's the flaw. That's the flaw in your thinking. But anyway, what time is it? We can like one o'clock on Saturday, the 29th of June, Hyde Park, London. Okay, this will this will be my last video here. Time is approaching. 20 19 hundred hours high park i've just had a chat with sean simon bean and it went well it was going good we were we were, we were discussing we were you know, exchanging stories but then a, a bully boy across from us just said to me can you pick up your stuff and go i picked up my stuff and it said rude on the way out but either way i mean i'm gonna stick with these guys until as long as i can and hope to upload this soon and so here i am too good a golden opportunity the queen is in and she knows what day it is she knows this is the day that john mahona said go away and yeah, she's out a window now looking she's out a window now seeing it seeing the truth just so happy that I'm able to be here on this beautiful summer's morning and the day where she legally by the King's Bench after the live court hearing of surrogate King William IV John Mahona she is no more now this visit up to London has been absolutely amazing because I've learnt a lot of things and here's one I'll share with you I cannot tell you how I'll come about this information, but this is what I think the choice is. Okay, the veterans are over there in Hyde Park. You can either stick with the Queen's lineage, because Prince Charles is not going to be king. Okay, he's going to go to William. So you've got a choice of actually King William the Fifth or the Surrey, King William the Fourth, John Mahona. But for King William the Fifth to come in, you get, there's going to be martial law, and it's only right and fitting that he may well be a good king because he'll have the blood of 
Princess Diana in them, of course. And Princess Diana is a true lineage. She goes back to King Arthur's bloodline. So that's your choice, okay? But bear in mind, the court, court martial, if you choose King William V, um, it's gonna be more of what you've got. Okay, just with a softer touch to it. You're still gonna have wars, poverty, shortages, strife, sadness. That still carries on, but with a more of a, with an iron fist, but with a gentle glove on. In the guise of, make no mistake, King William V will be just as evil as his grandmother. Or you got the choice of the surrogate, King William the Fourth, John Mahona, and he's a good man. And with him, with his monarchy, and it's in it now anyway, he's going to bring about tidal energy, free energy, magic money in the, in the sense you can print your money. There will be no poverty, be no more wars. Got to check out John Mahona. He's done it and I'm here to claim the reward. There you go. There you go. Yes. Wakey wakey queen. Wakey wakey queen. Get out. Get out. You're not welcome anymore. I do love life immensely and right now is a magic moment I want to share with you. I'm sitting here in Hyde Park looking at Buckingham Palace. The morning light hits in the building and I think, yep, I think I can see the guards pacing up and down. It's just a lovely way to start the day with the veterans, Hyde Park, dawn, sun hitting Buckingham Palace with the birds tweeting in the background and planes flying overhead. This is magic moments. This is what living is all about. There we go. In fact, one of my most endearing memories of this trip would actually be um, at Parliament Square with Simon Bean giving a, giving a forceful speech about how the government isn't fit for purpose and how the, all the ministers should be ashamed of themselves for um, putting the soldiers in the firing line making making them be um, culpable and responsible for killing innocent people on Bloody Sunday okay, my passionate speech about the welfare, the welfare of the um, veterans has an all time low and he's it was just sterling but, but then after getting all off his chest how much he's been let down how much they've been sold out forgotten and trodden on and just abused um, they start up God save our gracious queen oh and you should have seen him every single one bolted well oh, bolted just like yes and it's like they don't get it, do they? They don't get it. It's the firm people. And they run everything. And it's been a great weekend and I've learned a lot of stuff. And I'm going to share it all with you in due course.
different location, Hyde Park. I'm looking at the veterans camp as we speak. Um, I mean, I was speaking to everyone at the rally, at the rally as much as I could, walking around on the flag. The veterans don't know fuck all about this. <laughs> they really don't. They really don't. Um, the veterans, they've all said they've pledged their allegiance to the crown. So God knows why they stood up straight, saluting the Queen beyond me. But either way, I'm going to settle down now, have a bit of a rest, and then regroup soon. Hey, isn't, isn't this a great song, eh? Yeah. Just dropped my pen. And I get real high and I scream and talk of my life. What's going on? It's been a wonderful day with the veterans. I say hey. Broadcasting live from the Albert in London. Revolution, that's what's going on. Beautiful, isn't it? Right in the heart of London and a vibrant pub that London always delivers. It's just been a wonderful night with the veterans and they've got plans for Monday and I'm with them all the way. Where are you, Gary Clark? I've oh, asked this to Cybert. Where are you, Gary Clark? Nowhere. And Simon Bean is asking the same thing. Beautiful people. Watch Addy Andy Divine Show. Best thing since TV and radio combined. He's done a record breaking four hour, 50 minute live feed. And I watched every minute of it. I loved every minute of it. All the way with the veterans. I've got loads to tell you. I've got massive things have happened to me. And I'm writing them all down in my diary. Okay? Masses, loads of shit has gone down. And I've got it all on camera. I say hey, but what's going on? You know, it's a revolution and it's happened. And I'm leading it with John 101, uh, John 101, Addy Divine and the King's Bench. It's happened. And I tell you what, by Monday, Simon Bean's going to be on board as well. I've already told him he's going to apologise and he said never. Yeah, let's wait and see, shall we? It's been absolutely amazing. I've met someone up here, okay? A super soldier. Um, I've told what regiment to Simon Bean and his minions in his immediate camp. They know what regiment. I'm not going to repeat it, but wow. Talk about good, talk about God, talk about synchronicity. And as the song ends, I'll end this one. Oh, just a quick one. Where am I looking? I don't know, where is the camera? I don't know. There. Just a quick one, I'm at Piccadilly Circus. Time is five past, ten past five. Um, didn't get any sleep at the veterans camp. Rowdy bunch of bastards. Um, they were up all night. Mind you, I got back from the pub. I got, I hit the club, I hit the camp about 12. Um, a lot to tell you about. I got moved on from the camp, basically. And then, when I was moved on, and I was just, just about falling asleep, four of them came up. I sprung to my feet, ready to defend myself. Um... And I'll tell you all about it the next time I see you, okay?
Basically, they didn't get any sleep. I haven't had any, I haven't been, I haven't had any sleep. So, I'm just going to have a McDonald's to start off the day. I'm going to go to Math, Mass at 11, should be good, at the Methodist Church next to the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, their second centre. That should be good. So, here we go. Look at this. Veterans camp. Isn't amazing. So many veterans are out. out. This is awesome. They all brought their families. And they're all going to be here for as long as they possibly can. Until they get the change they, they demand from their... Look at it all. Brilliant. Hi there. Isn't that lovely, eh? This is so good. This is veterans. This is... This is going to change the world, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, sir. Good day. Good day. Good day. Hi. Hi, sir. Yeah, Veterans Day. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Okay. Live from, well, not live, you know what I mean. Pre recorded. From Hyde Park, London. The time is. 606 606 6 minutes past 6 in the morning and the camp's coming back coming to life um, they all look as if they had a good night's sleep yeah, they all admit they didn't get much to get to sleep until about 3 or 4 lucky them I haven't been at sleep at all but um, I'm going to leave these I'm going to leave them to it. Now I've got a, I've got a lot to report. I didn't like what went on last night, you know, being banished from the camp. And then when I was banished, just about to get to sleep, I had four of them approach me. You know, not very nice. I was on my feet within moments, so I was ready to attack. Apparently somebody's fucking fridge went missing and they were... What? You don't fucking approach people at two o'clock in the fucking morning when they're trying to get to sleep. Four of them. Oh, fucking idiots. You know. Maybe they were, they were coming to kind of like tie me up and put me in a rubber ring and throw me in the tim Thames. But it was only because I leapt on my feet ready to, my, ready to defend myself that they didn't bother. But anyway, here we go. I'll get back to you with some more news soon.